Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up All right, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. All right, let's try that again. All right, guys. What is going on? Welcome, welcome back. Welcome to another video and the first, well, the first day of the cut or the uh, the second mini cut of this series. So we're at day two hundred and ninety-six today of making gains, and it's seven thirty in the morning, and I've just finished a night shift, and I've got today and tomorrow off work. And yesterday I made the video um, that we would have seen last, just talking about what was coming in the future and what I had planned and how I was going to structure things. So my opinions haven't changed. <laughs> they normally do each morning, it's fucking something different, but uh, my mind is set right now. So basically from here, today's date's Monday the 5th of June, and I am basically going to stick to 2,500 calories per day. Um, my macros, I will let you know what they are when I know. I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out, but um, basically what I'm planning on doing is at the end of each week of the cut, I will have some data, obviously, to, to show you guys. Um, I'm going to track absolutely everything on my fitness pal, And um, yeah, at the end of each week, I will just make a quick video running through what my macros were, running through what my weight's done, what my body's doing, how my training's going and things like that. Um, I've, I've cut, I've, you know, cut weight, I've cut body fat many times in the past. I know what, I know what needs to be done. Um, I've got a few tools up my sleeve as far as, you know, cardio, as far as, uh, you know, intermittent fasting. I like to utilize intermittent fasting when I'm uh, trying to cut some body fat. Basically for the fact, the simple fact that I get hungry at night and if I go to bed feeling hungry, it's, it's not a good time for me. So if I can save my calories to the end of the day, or save some of them, um, so that I get a good meal before I go to bed, that makes me a lot happier uh, in the long run. So with that said, uh, this morning I haven't had anything. Yesterday was my final cheat meal, which was KFC. And um, <clears throat> definitely got that out of the system, so that's good. This morning, like I said, 7.30 in the morning, I've, um, I've had a bit of sleep, so I'm feeling good. I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to make up a pre-workout drink, and then we're going to head to the gym and smash some weights. So I'm doing CrossFit, I'm doing both bodybuilding and CrossFit. Uh, for example, this morning, you know, I've got, I've got most of the day off. I uh, had a night shift last night, but that, that doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is do weights in the morning, and then eat throughout the day, fuel up again, and then go and do a CrossFit workout at night. So on my days off, that's pretty much how I'm going to structure it. I do have a couple of friends who do CrossFit with me, and if they are going to hit a class and I've got time off, I'll go and do a class with them. Obviously, ideally, I'd like to hit classes with my mates, uh, but obviously CrossFit is a brand new group of mates, so you know I'm going to be friends with everyone there eventually anyway, so I really shouldn't, shouldn't be thinking like that. But today, um, it's, it's fucking cold outside. I don't want to go to CrossFit right now. I want to go later on this afternoon. So we're going to go to the gym, do some weights, and we're going to do some arms today. So arms day is always good. Um, you know, I think my arms are probably one of my weaker... Well, actually, you know what? We might do some chest. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll do some bench and uh, we might throw in some close grip bench to do some triceps as well. So I'll let you know when I know. I'll see you guys back here after the workout. I won't take the camera down. Um, I'm just gonna smash it out. Concentrate on what I need to do, which is get the most out of this workout. I haven't eaten anything yet, so I'm assuming the pump will be eh, average at best, but um, it's progressively overloading that the key. So if I can lift as heavy as I lifted last time, that's a success. And going forward, obviously being in a caloric deficit, if I can just continue the strength that I'm at at the moment, I don't want to, I'm not going to try and push for any PBs. Well, I mean, I could, but it's, it's probably not going to be realistic. The last, the last couple of weeks, I have actually, you know, gotten my strength up to a point where I am hitting a few PBs here and there. So I am probably as strong as I've ever been which is a fantastic point to start cutting, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So I will see you guys back here for meal number one, which will be my post-workout meal, 
And uh, until then, have a great morning, guys. See you later. All right, so just before I do go, guys, um, I'll just run through a couple of sups that I am currently taking um, and I will be continuing to take. So recently, I've probably had like one of my first sort of niggly injuries, probably in the last couple of weeks, and it's in my elbow, and I couldn't say exactly what it is, but basically it just feels, the joint just feels compromised sometimes, it feels a little bit weak, um, like the lubrication just isn't there. And um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's anything to do with tendon. I, I I really don't know at this point. But what I am doing is supplementing with a powerful uh, anti-inflammatory, which is glucosamine. And um, I've had this in my cupboard for you know months and months, probably a year or so. And I've never really had any reason to use it. But right now, you know, when you do start feeling something going wrong, or what you assume is going wrong you do start looking for supplements that will help and this is definitely something that will help um, it's it's uh, made for people with arthritis and with, you know with serious uh, debilitating you know joint issues um, mine's not that bad but you know I don't want it to become bad so we're supplementing with four tablets per day which is six grams of glucosamine as well as that I've got vitamin C. Now usually, you know, I'll have one of these around the house. Whether I take it or not is, is another, another question. Um, I have been leaving it on the bench, so I'll probably take four to six, four to six tablets per day, which is two to three grams of uh, vitamin C per day. So we're on the glucosamine, we're on vitamin C, and as well as that, we've got creatine. Um, creatine is, you know, one of the most important supplements for performance as far as a natural uh, lifter goes. And it's something that I have struggled with, you know, once again, just, just forgetting to take. And it, you know, if you take it for three days out of the week, every week, it's not gonna be effective. So you really need to take it every day. Um, I have been recently, but you know, once again, some days I forget. So um, we've got the three supplements here, glucosamine, vitamin C, and creatine. And if I'm gonna take them, I will literally just Oh, that's five. Um, here we go. So we've got five of these. Oh. Right, one more. They're actually quite fucking big, man. There's no way I'd be doing two of these at once. So, one at a time. That's that. And then we got creatine. Now creatine I used to think I had to mix with a drink to take it. But the reality is, is that you don't because it tastes like, like nothing. So I probably got about 10 grams there. Don't know if you can see it, but honestly it's just like this. That's the creatine. And last but not least, let's have a couple of these. Got right, two there in the mouth. I just like to suck on them like lollies because I actually like the taste. And um, that's it, guys. So that's it for sups right now. Um, pre workout, pre workout drink today. I've got choices actually. I've got a lot of choices. So. First choice would be Amino Energy, one of my classic favourites. And um, choice number two would be one of these. So, um, yeah, pretty good choices. I'm going to stick with this one this morning. What we'll do, each scoop has about 50 milligrams of caffeine. And with that said, I'll probably want uh, three scoops. One. Two, three. All right, so I think we're finally ready to go. Let's go train some chest.